Can we go home now? No, not yet. Is mom having another, uh... Yeah, she is. <sighs> Wanna go get some lunch? Yeah, okay. Come in. Oh, hey, Parker. Hey, Charlotte. How are you holding up? I'm doing good. Can't really see out of my right eye anymore, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah. I was just stopping by to check how you're doing. No worries. I was just making dinner. Go ahead and take something from the fridge if you're hungry. It's fine. I already ate. I was gonna... That's a pretty big TV. You like it? It's almost three feet across. Sounds... Expensive. How did you afford this? What do you think, dummy? With my own money. Your money? Yeah, got a new phone too. The camera's insane on this one. Charlotte, I'm concerned about your spending. What? I can afford it. Yeah, I'm just worried you're not using the money we gave you to good use. Good use? What do you mean by that? Well, you know, we gave you that money to afford your medical stuff, and I was just- Parker, we went over this. I don't need your help paying for the mold treatment. Right. I get you're very adamant on your independence with this situation, but we already gave you that money, Charlotte. If you're not spending it on your mold treatment, can we have it back? Charlotte? Charlotte, don't tell me. Let's talk about this another time. You spend all our money? I didn't say that. When did I ever say that? Well, judging by the giant flat screen and thousand dollar phone, yeah, I think that's a safe assumption. $25,000, man. That's $25,000 of my money down the drain. Wait till everyone else hears you spent all of theirs, too. Well, maybe you shouldn't have given me that money in the first place. How many times do I need to drill it into your head that I don't need your help? I swear, Charlotte, you are so full of yourself that none of this would have even happened if you'd actually read the signs in the Silo Cavern. We pointed them out several times to you, but you insisted. You kept on going even when you knew there was mold down there. First, you get a piece of your head ripped off because you wouldn't wear a helmet. And now this? You can't keep doing this. Doing what, Parker? Living my life how I want to? And cheating us out of our money? Yes. We didn't give you that money so you could squander it on electronics. The I don't get to that people money, sometimes. You told me to use it on what'll help me out when okay, I deliberately said I Okay, so like this lady walked in today and it. just by looking at her, I could you already tell that she was like a crazy person. You know why? She walked into the because counter and asked what the sports shoes were. And I told her, you know, they were near the back. 
<laughs> yeah, just like that. Anyways, I tell her they're near the back, and she just, I cannot, look at me with the dumbest look. You come over to check on me like I'm a poor endangered patient, when I'm fully capable of sustaining myself. You guys just gave me the money. You can raise yourselves up to be the spirit of the sky. Okay. Fine. Dude, I don't have my phone or anything. Sorry, I, I gave you that one. You're completely just able to pay for it by so yourself. Seriously, already? Put your pride aside this one time and pay us back with your own money. Oh, of course, now you're apologizing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. Do you seriously think I'm gonna forgive you? I hope you rot in a dumpster, you filthy piece of garbage. What the? Uh! Hello contestants, my name is, sorry, is this better? Hello contestants, I am your host, Ari, and welcome to this competition called one. Please don't tell me. We're on a game show with an invisible host in the middle of nowhere. Great. One? Is that an acronym or something? Yeah, it stands for- Where are we? Uh, you're on the plane. Here to compete in my competition called One. Why are we here? You're here to compete in my competition called One. No, I get that. But why us, specifically? You six are here specifically to compete in my competition called One. Are you going to give us a straight answer or not? Enough chit chat. Let's take a look at your new names. Wait, new names? I should probably drop it softer next time. These are your names for the competition. Please call each other them accordingly. My name is Taylor. How do you like your new name, magazine? What is wrong with this guy? Soda bomb? Is he serious? Moldy? <laughs> Creative. Are these names just based on our objects? Yes, it makes it easier to remember. Just use our real names. This is stupid, take me back. Wait, don't you want to win the competition? I don't care! Why should any of us care? I have work tomorrow at 9, and I need to pay my rent. I can't be standing here playing your stupid contest in... Whatever the heck this place is. You wouldn't even want to stay for the chance to win a prize? What kind of prize would be worth taking us from our lives to play a little competition like some sort of mentally deranged serial killer? One wish for anything you could possibly imagine. Riches. Immortality. Whatever your heart desires. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more convincing than that to make me want to stay. When does the contest start? Stand back, please. Tomato, get out of there! <laughs> what happened? What just happened? I regenerated him, or respond him is a better term. Wait, so we can't die here? Yes, as long as you're here, you can't die. We, we can't die. Yes, that's what I just said. That's reassuring. Wait, was that sarcasm? This challenge is simple. Don't hit the ground. If you are one of the first two people to fall, you're eliminated, and the challenge is over. And if we stay on, do we win anything? You win this challenge. That's what you're worried about right now? Really? Why are you so hung up about leaving? It's just a competition. Just a competition? Does any of this set off any hint of normality to you? We're in the middle of nowhere, an 11-month-old baby- 3, died. 2, 1, go! Call a host is holding us! Whoa, uh, uh. TOMATO! That doesn't count. 
Okay then, tomatoes out. No, 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 no! You good? I think so. I don't know, actually. I don't understand anything about what's going on. Is that even legal? He fell off his own pole. He didn't touch the ground. But if you said- But you said at the beginning, if you fall off your- He said you get eliminated if you touch the ground. But didn't he mean it like- Please stop talking. But he- Okay. Oh man, I can barely hold on. You guys sure are taking quite a while. You told us that the prize was a wish for anything we wanted. You think we're gonna give up just because we're getting tired? I don't even know why we're here still. It's just like it's crazy and I don't- I just don't understand. Like, we just- Don't, don't even think about it. I really think I'm gonna fall soon. I couldn't care less at this point if I win or not. If I get eliminated, that just means I can get back to my life. I just really don't want to die right now. Yeah, same. Where do you live, by the way? Bridgeport. What about you? I'm in the, uh, Bay Area. Bay Area? San Francisco. Gotcha. How are you so good at this? I'm a yoga instructor, but the more I think about it, I'm starting to think this challenge was made specifically for me. That sounds a bit egotistical, don't you think? No, I don't think so. But then again, any normal person could find it safe to assume that thinking this host picked us six specifically out of nearly 8 billion people on Earth could be considered egotistical. Oh man, this really might be it. Whoever wins, I hope you enjoy your wish. It's a shame I can't really get it at this point. Oh, if you fall, you're not eliminated yet. Wait, what? Oh yeah, after this competition, Tomato and someone else will be voted on by viewers to see whoever gets eliminated. Another challenge is played, and this will repeat until one person is left, and they win. Viewers? Wait, like on TV? Oh, hold on, I thought this was the only competition. How long is this going to last? Oh, well, I'd say this should take a few weeks. Maybe a few months, considering how one person gets eliminated for each challenge, and each challenge takes a while to make, but oh. Oops, sorry. And it seems that Backpack hit the ground first. So him and Tomato will be put up for elimination to see who will be the first eliminated from one. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Why did I not think of doing that? Backpack, Backpack, are you all right? <laughs>
my gosh, it's not bad. Ow, 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 ow. Is the cast done yet? Yeah, just need to attach the wood plank. What kind of cast are you making? Hold on. Before I give Backpack the cast, I'm gonna have to straighten out his leg. Wait, what? No, no, you don't have to do this. Stick in neon zone. Besides, I'm fine with that one. Trust me, I'm perfectly capable of- <laughs> Use these to help you walk. Need some help? Please. Are you gonna be okay wearing that cast? It looks uncomfortable. Don't worry, I'll get used to it. Besides, I'm just glad I'm not dead at this point. I can't even imagine dying in a place like this. Tell that to the baby. He's had quite a bit of experience. Yeah, speaking of which, where even is he? Where did the baby go? Airy. Yeah? Where did Tomato go? Oh, right. He was eliminated. Between him and Backpack, Tomato got the most votes, so I sent him back. How many voters even are there? I don't know. I didn't bother to count. Anyways, moving away from the elimination, it's time to meet the new contestants. New contestants? You're bringing more? How many? You can't be serious. Are Aerie, you what the heck is wrong me? with are you? Really are you delusional? Are, are you an idiot or something? Like, are what are you even doing? Aerie, I want you to end this comedy. Are you sure you teleported the right things? Yeah, just wait. What in the world? Uh... Hello, new contestants. I am your host, Ari, and welcome to this competition called One. Not this again. Um, can someone please explain what's going on here? You're on the plane. Here An invisible to... host is holding us hostage to compete in a game show for a wish for anything we want. Oh, sounds fun. Yeah, I could get used to this place. Aren't you guys concerned at all about this? About getting back to your lives? Psh, beats standing in a fridge all day. Hey, how's it going? I'm a school lunch tray. It's nice to meet you. Hey, my name is Amelia, but this toast is making everyone call me Senti. What's your name? Wait, hold on. You have a name? You don't? What? Of course not. That's a human thing. I'm- I'm sorry, a, a what? How did you do that thing? Do what? That limb thing. Oh, I, uh, thought that was common knowledge. I, uh, don't think it's, uh... It's pretty easy. It's just like... So, let me get this straight. You, a soda bottle? Have a job? I don't see how that's such a big deal to you. Might I ask how you're not getting caught? Get caught? What are you even talking about? Oh yeah, forgot to mention that the new people are from a different world than you guys. That explains nothing. So, if I'm understanding correctly, you guys come from a world of greater beings who rule the world. Yep. And these... humans... that's what they're called, right? Right. Okay. And these humans use you guys like objects on a daily basis? I mean, we are objects. 
Yet you're forced to keep your sentience a complete secret to them? Yeah, it kind of scares them. So what were you doing before you got here? Now that all of you got to know each other a little better, let's name the new contestants. Wait, we're getting actual names? Like, for real? It's not as exciting as you think. Speaking of which, are you gonna drop another table on us? No, I couldn't find any more name tags, so I'll just list them now. Let me just... Okay, there we go. Starting with you, your name is Subway Seat. Next is uh, Trey. And after that is Contact Lens. Next up, you are Airline Food? Oh, okay. That was a bit disappointing. Yeah, Airline Food. After Airline Food is uh, Basie. And finally is uh, Whippy Creamy. It was literally so easy. Whipped cream, how did you screw this up? I don't know. Didn't think we had enough Y names. Whatever, just tell me when the competition is starting. Or what it even is. The second competition is to climb up to the top of one of these six poles. The last three to make it up to the top will be put up for elimination. Three, two, one, go. I didn't expect it to be like right now, but all right. Oh dang, it's starting. See you guys at the top. Ari really couldn't think of anything better as a second challenge. Oh, this is the second one? I guess we were a bit late to the party. You didn't miss much. Done. That was easier than I thought. Oh, I guess Moldy is the first one safe from elimination. Wow, you're really strong for a piece of Moldy bread. I still can't believe he's dragging more people in here to do this competition. I just want to go home. Can't he just replace us with people who want to do this? I thought you guys would have wanted to compete here. Remember the prize? Well, you know we have lives to get back to, right? Magically transporting us here without any foresight isn't exactly the most appealing thing in the world. Besides, after what happened to Backpack, we're definitely not sticking around now. Come on, the challenge isn't that hard. I can't even use one of my legs! We're not doing the challenge, Aerie. Alright, then I'll make it easier. How is this? That doesn't make the situation any better. Oh jeez, I've never had to walk before. How do I even... <clears throat> wow, that was easy. Okay, Whippy Creamy is the second one safe. Oh, airline food is safe too. Nice. Okay, this is going too quickly. This should make it a bit harder. Oh no! No! <laughs> Alright, now if I could just... This is gonna take a while. Yes! I made it! That wasn't too hard! 
Trey made it to the top, so she is safe also. Nice. Will you try it if I make it shorter? No. How about now? No! Let me try this one! Hey! Let me climb this one! No. Oh, come on! Sorry, try another pull. Just so you guys know, there are four safe spots left. Cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! If you guys climb this pole, you'll all be safe. Stop! We don't care. Do you want it to be easy? No! Stop! Stop. We're not doing your competition. Please. Take us back. You might as well. No. Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, ow. It looks like Backpack <sighs> is safe from elimination this round. Backpack, what happened? Uh, don't worry about it, I just tripped. Right, but you tripped on the pool. Yeah, I know. It's fine though, we can just wait until next round. Are you sure you'll be alright staying another challenge? I mean, it's too late now. It won't be long before the next challenge comes though. Okay, let's do this stupid challenge. Well, it seems that Soda Bottle and Senti both made it to the top of one of the poles. What? That means only one safe spot is left in this challenge. Oh my gosh, finally. Now I just need to flip myself over. Hey! Gosh dang it. Oh, I made it. And Basie takes the last safe spot for this challenge. That means Contact Lens, Magazine, and Subway Seat will all be put up for elimination. Can I please get down now? Oh, right. Hey, uh, do you need help getting up? Oh, oh, yeah, that would be nice. Wow, that's bright. Thanks, by the way. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, how long are we asleep for? Uh, it's been around four hours. Hey, are you alright? I don't want to be here anymore. Just a few hours ago, you were super into the competition. Why'd you change your mind? I don't know. I guess at first I didn't really think to notice anything that was going on. But at this point, this place is starting to freak me out. I don't know what the heck is going on. Yeah, I wish I understood too. I'm sure you'll be home soon though. Uh, yeah... I don't, I don't know. At least your stuff happens. Back home, it's just more of the same. Wake up, go to school, go to work, go home, and go to sleep. Uh, I, I just, I, I just wish I could- Ari, what's wrong with you? She got eliminated, so I sent her back. 
You could have at least let her finish her sentence. <sighs> Senti, what's going on? I guess now that the elimination is over with, we can introduce our new contestants. Not again. Wait, there's more? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Soda bot. Let him sleep. He needs it. I don't really know where these guys come from, so I'm just going to introduce them individually. Starting off, we have... Uh... Adam. Down here. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm an Adam. Next up is... Uh... Texty. Next is, uh, Folder. What is that thing? Hello, my name's Folder. I can help you with all of your regular daily computer needs. I've got songs, documents, images, videos, and can answer such questions as, what's the weather like? What was the score of last night's game? And can you set a reminder for 2.30 on Tuesday? Wait, who the heck is that guy? Are you seriously getting more contestants? This one is, uh, abstracty. Doesn't look very abstract to me. Hey everyone, welcome back to Battle for Circle, the uh... show where Circle with a Mole gets eliminated. Now let's see who gets eliminated. Circle with the Mole was the only one deemed spooky last episode, so today we will find out if he finally gets out of this place for once. We got a lot of votes, but um, it seems that all of them have been for Circle with Hi, the Mole. Hi, my name is Liam. Um, I'm a backpack, and my leg hurts. That a bummer. Well, do you have I anything don't to say about yourself, Circle with the Mole? Backpack! Circle with the Mole? Do you have any idea what's happening? Just as clueless as you are. Next no. is a Oh, stone. frick, eyebrows. Let's At least this guy here is normal. Hey, how's it going? Battle for circle. All right. Now to the remaining 7 contestants. Your next challenge is to so, I don't understand that. Sir, are we done tomorrow? with the freak Why show here? here? Hi, I'm I don't know. Why I'm a total jerk who insults I'm people. I'm not. I just hurt my own self image. All right, on how top about of that, this? I've been invited by my closest friends on multiple occasions. Okay, now with you've done it. The freak out of here. We yeah, have the, the worst three. I'm also supposedly violent. For voting. Anyways, three, two, one, the last go. contestant to introduce Wait, is. I don't know. He was should. Oh, Frick, Wait. there he is. Let's get him. Right, okay. The last contestant is. Circle. What? Uh. Where'd he go? You'd think for a fast voice plan like this, you would see him, but I can't. We can't find Circle with the Mole, he just disappeared. Ah, uh, um... Uh... Well, Hello, uh, new I guess that means the challenge is over. I am your host, Ari, and, and welcome to this conference. Three I'm not doing another game show. I'm out of here. didn't even try at all. So, there we go. Vote for your least favorite contestant so that they do not get to... Can I please leave? Anyways, I am your host, Ari, and welcome to this competition called One. The heck? Uh. Whoa! Uh. What? What are you doing? Okay. Why is it doing that? Hey! Um, wait, who's it? Oh! Oh, okay. What was that for? Anyways, now that we've introduced all the contestants, we can start making the teams. We have to split into teams? Yes. Since there are 16 of you, we'll have four teams of four. You can start picking them now. Do you know what's going on with this guy? I'm not entirely sure, but I think he might know more about this than we do. What are you talking about? I'm not sure if you saw, but he knew where that cassette player was going to fall. 
I'm not following. I was standing right underneath where it fell. Before Eri dropped it, he pushed me out of the way. Wait, that's five people. We can't have the text box on our team. Am I not being let onto the team? Why can't we keep Senthi with us? But... Yeah? Oh. Stone already assembled the team. It'll be okay, Senti. They're just teams. You really couldn't let her stay? Honestly, this place is kind of starting to weird me out. Yeah, I agree. It's just something about this host that's really off-putting. I wish I could just go back to being, you know, a lunch tray. Yeah, I miss being back home. Yeah. I heard you guys want to leave too. Do you guys want to be on a team together? Wouldn't that mean we'd have to stay here longer? Well, not necessarily. We can just lose each challenge. Oh, okay All then. Right. Yeah, sure. okay. Okay, we have our second teammate. Hey, do you want to be on a team? No, I'm not doing this again. Doing this competition again? No, I was in another one before this. All of us looked exactly the same and talked exactly the same. It sucked. Well, you're in this one now, so you might as well try to win. Why would I want to win this one? The prize is a wish for anything. Anything? Riches, immortality, whatever your heart desires. That's what Aerie told us. So, do you want to join my team? Sure. Have you ever seen a contact lens that big? Beats me. Oh, by the way, shouldn't we be looking for a team? I suppose we should. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we team up with them? If it's only the two of them, together we'll make a team of four. Sure, sounds good to me. <clears throat> Care to help me over there? I built this perfect sculpture of Circle, and he picks the pile of garbage! Like, what kind of hosting is that? Wait, you're, you're talking about the host Circle? Do you guys want to be on a team? Um, I don't... Y yeah, it's fine. Oh, sweet. Alright, Moldy's team is full. That means Adam, Abstracty, Folder, and Airline Food will make up the last team. Oh. <gasps> we should have a team name! That's a good idea. I think we should be now called that the- Now that we've got all the teams situated, we can start the next challenge. We should be your the- Your next challenge is to, uh, your, ne your next challenge is- We should be- Your next challenge is to, uh, to run to the tree and back. The, the last- team to have a member run to the tree and back will be up for elimination uh go he's really bad at making challenges anyways just don't do the challenge and we'll be all right did you see what area was doing with that circle guy earlier that he wouldn't let him leave i don't think that's any different from what he's doing with us he could even let him take a step before he just he didn't even say a word at least with us he let us walk away have we even tried walking away? Are you guys not doing the challenge again? Oh, never mind. Texty made it to the tree. And Texty wins immunity for their team. <sighs> Nothing. What? What is? A mistake fell onto the baby right in front of our eyes. I mean, sure, the baby came back to life after a few seconds, but- CONTACT LENS!
What the heck is your problem? And text contact lens won immunity for his team. Now it's down to the team with Adam, Folder, Abstracty, and Airline Food. And the team with Moldy, Circle, We already did so it. You... You already did it. It wasn't that hard. We just walked over there. Uh, well, I guess the team with Adam, Folder, Abstracty, and Airline Food is up for elimination this time. Wait, actually? Yeah, I guess everyone else did it before you guys. Oh. That was really fast. Wait, so that means one of our team members is being eliminated? Yeah, viewers will vote to decide who's eliminated. Wait, viewers are watching us? I hope I don't get voted off. Who's saying that? Me. I'm Adam. Are you on our team? I can't see you. Yeah, I'm an Adam. Wait, how come you get a human name? What's a human? My name's just Adam. Yeah, that's a, a human, or homo sapien, is a bipedal you mammal distinguished from animals and a singular representation of Wait, the human species. Wait, what's an animal? An animal is a living organism that feeds on organic matter, you know typically stuff? having specialized sense organs and nervous system, and they're able to respond I rapidly to I don't understand anything that you're saying. Animals are... Text contact lens won immunity for his team. Your fortune telling screwball of a teammate just went out of his way to keep us safe. Yeah, we saw. Next time, can you tell him to, I don't know, not do that? Yeah, sorry I didn't say anything. We didn't know he was gonna do that. If it makes you feel any better, the text box did the challenge for us, so we're staying too. I don't know what your stone teammate is up to, but it can't be anything good. I mean, he did save Soda Bottle's life, so I doubt it's anything sinister. Besides, there's always next time. You did say that last time. I'm just trying to be optimistic, okay? I think optimism is the least of our worries right now. <sighs> no, Backpack's right. Staying mad at this isn't going to get us anywhere. We already have enough to worry about with Airy, the plane, and everything else wrong with this place. Just try to keep an eye on them over there. What's happening? Look. How long has it been doing... that? Ever since the challenge ended. You guys got mad at me last time for not telling you, so, uh, I'm gonna eliminate someone right now.
What just happened? If you require information about an issue with your computer, please consult Well, now that the elimination is done, we can introduce the new challenge. Give me a second. Hey, challenge is about to start. I don't care. Just make sure Stone doesn't do anything weird. Okay, your next challenge is to draw on these sticky notes. The team that makes the worst drawings in five minutes is eliminated. Three, two, one, go. Where are the sticky notes? Give him a second. Why did all the kids say this was so hard to do? Stone. Stone, don't do the challenge for us. We know what you did with Senti's team last time. We're not letting you do the same with our... What the heck is this? Stone, I'm not giving this back to you. We can't afford to stay here for another elimination. Hold on, I got this. Huh? Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Okay, you guys have a minute left. Okay, you finished your notes. Can you please... That's a really nice drawing circle. Oh. <laughs> this sucks. I hate drawing. And you put your arms in front, like this. Am I doing it right? Yes, that's good. Lastly, you just want to close your eyes Take a deep breath. Stone's right next to you. Stone, don't take the sticky notes. Stone, don't take the sticky notes. Ten seconds left. Hmm? Okay, time's up. Let me see all of your drawings. Uh, okay. Backpack and Sunny's team both didn't draw anything, which means Molding Airlines Foods team are safe. Uh, I couldn't actually find any of Backpack's team's sticky notes, so I guess Senti's team is safe because they still have theirs, which means Backpack's team no, will be put Aerie, up for No, I saw this Stone time. writing on their sticky notes. We should be up for elimination. I didn't see them writing. What do you mean you didn't see them? He was writing on them the entire time. And the only reason you can't see the notes is because Stone stuffed them inside of Backpack. I didn't see that either. Aerie, are you blind? That's all they've been doing this entire time. It baffles me how unbelievably incompetent you are. How hard is it to understand that you've separated us from our livelihoods to play this maniacal excuse of a game show just to torture us and keep us from living a life you clearly don't have? <laughs> Just take it. Okay, I'm gonna eliminate someone now.
Your next challenge is to do 100 push-ups. The last team to do a total of 100 push-ups will be up for elimination. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back, Senti. Feeling better? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Sorry you had to see me lash out like that. I've just had a lot built up. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Thanks, guys. Uh, what thing do we have to avoid doing this time? There's no way I can do 100 push-ups. I've never even done one. Hold on, I have an idea. <clears throat> Airy, we're done. Huh? Oh, I guess Airline Foods team finished, so they're all safe. How did that work? If you're curious about the function of a specific program, please say what are you at now? That program for a 38, 39, 40. Phew, I'm taking a break. How is. How the heck did you get so strong? Splunking. Spl what now? Splunking. Caving, cave exploring, they all mean the same thing. I like exploring caves in my free time. How would exploring caves make you stronger? Well, it's good exercise, that's for sure. I used to go a lot with friends. Used to? Well, I'm... Well, yeah, but you'll do it again once this is over, right? I guess so. Probably wouldn't be a very good idea right now. Why not? Never mind. What? What's the problem? I shouldn't have said that. Come on! What's going on in the life of Moldy? It's where I got the mold. A month ago, I went to this cave called the Silo Cavern or something. And the idiots working the place didn't tell me there were patches of fungus inside. Ended up nicking me in the head, and it's been growing there ever since. Oh, that's why you're called Moldy. Sure is. 68, 69, 70. Whew, okay. Can we hear more about your life stuff? Why do you care so much? You've got your own lives to deal with, don't you? I guess so. A few weeks ago, a guy spilled some coffee on me. Hasn't been clean since. None of us are going to see you after this competition is over anyways. What's the harm in letting us in on a bit more? <sighs> Fine. Tell us more about your friends! Um, I'd rather not, to be honest. Didn't you say you used to go cave exploring with them? I said used to for a reason. What happened? Did it have to do with your mold? Get off my case! The medical procedure to get rid of my mold cost $200,000. What now? I told myself and my friends I can pay for the whole thing myself, but they didn't listen and decided to pity me instead and gave me money to try and prove that I can't do it myself. I've got a good job and lots of money saved up, but they just decided to humiliate me instead, being so generous helping out those who don't need help. I can pay for the procedure myself. After I win this excuse of a competition, I'm taking my money that I earned myself to fix this stupid hunk of mold. I don't need anyone else's help doing so. Okay, Moldy's team is safe. That leaves Backpack and Senti's team to do 100 push-ups. Uh, well, if neither of you are going to do the competition this time, I guess I'll put both of you up for elimination. Yes! Finally! Oh, thank you! Viewers, vote for me! Take me back home! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Finally! I hope Jess is doing all right right now. Is that your human? Yeah, she takes me to band for school. <gasps> Which school? Magellan. Oh. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you when you get back. Yeah. I'm not totally sure what mine will be up to. 
but I hope he gets that job promotion. I guess since you're the only one who can live like humans, what are you excited to get back to, Santi? Well, I've been thinking about my family a lot. My friends, too. They're probably worried about me. Well, I'm sure they'll be happy to see you when you get back. Yeah, especially with how much you've wanted to leave, the viewers will totally vote for you. <laughs> I'd hope that would work. I'd be surprised if you didn't get the most votes. You definitely deserve to go home the most, out of all of us. Yeah, totally. Definitely. Thanks, guys. I really can't wait to go back. Alright, it's time to eliminate someone. Good luck, Senti. Okay, the person I'm going to eliminate is going to go back... Right... Now. showing how happy I was the viewers would vote for me but I guess not <laughs> it chose a text box over me I really shouldn't have been so confident Senti we probably should have told you this when it happened but what watch out well when stone was eliminated he left a message behind Backpack and I were there before it happened, so when we went over to- Your next challenge is to stay afloat in this pool of water. The first team to have a member think- Help me get the cast off. We'll be right back for- Ari! Ari! Ari, stop! Ari! Ari, don't go yet! Go. Ari! means backpack and soda bottle will be put out of our Backpack! 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 Backpack, okay? talk to us! What happened? Backpack! that, I drove home, went to bed, and next thing I knew, I ended up here. I was riding home on my bike when it happened.
You said you saw a guy in there? Yeah. Was there anything else there? I was sitting in an armchair against a wall that spanned infinitely in every direction. I couldn't tell where the horizon began and the ground ended. What was the other guy doing? He was also sitting in an armchair, and there was a small table separating us. The guy was flipping through stations on a radio, but they were all static. Do you know why? No. No, I don't. Since we're both up for elimination, you realize this is probably going to be the last time we ever talk to each other, right? I haven't really thought about it very much. It's been a while since I haven't felt completely scatterbrained. I keep thinking about how life really isn't going to be the same after this. I don't think we really like to think about it. Did you ever notice how all the grass here is pointing towards the sun? Hey guys, check it out. I made clouds. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, that was pretty interesting. I, like those a lot. I think I like nice. those clouds. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, we can start the next challenge. Ow. Ow. Your next challenge is to throw your rock into the tub. The last team to throw their rock into the tub is up for elimination. Three, two, one, go. And Moldy wins immunity for her team. This is getting old. Same as usual? I guess so. Seems like it. I just realized, even if none of us are eliminated this time, what if- Senti! Wanna teach us some more yoga? Yeah, sure. Those clouds look nice. Huh. Hey, Folder, can you throw this rock for us? Rock throwing, specifically directed towards another person, is a criminal offense in many countries. You keep in saying these things. Assault, Isn't your purpose to help us conduct. out? We just need you My to- My purpose is to no, I, I just... daily computer needs, such as telling you the weather, keeping a reminder for later, or even telling a joke or two. And Airline Foods team is safe. That means Backpack and Senti's team are the last ones to throw their rock into the tub. Senti, what do we do next? Senti? Senti, what do we do next? Senti! Senti, what did you do? Something I should have done a while ago. And Senti throws the rock in to win for her team. That means Backpack is up for elimination this round. Why'd you do it? You don't deserve to be here, Backpack. What? You didn't deserve to see a child impaled by a stake. You didn't deserve to have your leg broken. You didn't deserve to drown. Since the very beginning, there has been no one more deserving to leave this hellscape other than you. And it's been six eliminations too late for me to finally realize that. I've been selfish to spend even a second prioritizing my own well-being over yours. It's okay, Senti. Really. It's not, Backpack. I'm done delaying what should have happened long before any of this happened. I'm not sleeping another day here until I see you gone. I really don't want to be here. I really, truly don't. 
But knowing you're back home, safe, is worth staying here until I'm the last one left. What do you think you're gonna do when you go back? I don't know. For as long as I've wanted to leave, I still don't have much of an idea of what I'm gonna do. If I'm in the right headspace, I'll probably try and figure out what the heck is up with this place. <laughs> I don't imagine you getting very far with that. Why not? You've got nothing to go off of. You really think you're gonna have any useful information about this place back home? I don't know, it's just a hunch. No need to be so uptight. Just saying, when you're out of here, try looking up the plane and ask that question again. I will, Senti. Just you wait. Take all the time you need. I'm not going anywhere. How long do you think we've been here for? Uh, I'd be willing to guess three, maybe four days. Four days? Yeah, each challenge cycle is like less than 12 hours. Dang. I guess it feels longer without any nighttime. I can't wait for the day I can actually sleep in a bed with the lights off. Well, if you really do stay here longer than anyone else, I wager it'd only take a week or so. You think so? Yeah. If it's really only been four days, six eliminations ago, you should be out of here like a week later. And that's assuming you're the last to go. I can't say putting up with Aerie for any amount longer than me is going to be very easy, so here's to hoping for the best. <laughs> Cheers to that. We can start the elimination now. Okay, the person eliminated is... into warrior one and hold this pose next you want to inhale bring one hand to the front one to the back for warrior two exhale and hold this senti keep holding warrior two what's up do you think it's time for the work shift we should probably start rounding everyone up to get the last stake out of the ground yeah i'm almost done we can call it a shift then for now you can start by getting whippy creamy out of the shed sounds good all right, next you wanna breathe in and bring your front hand up, touch your back hand to your back leg. A couple of weeks after the World Series had ended, it must have been a Sunday because the exercise yard was full of men walking off the week, tossing a frisbee or two, passing around the football. Would you like me to turn the page? Yes, please. Bartering what they had to barter. Others would be at the long table in the visitor's Hey. We're uprooting the last stake soon. Talking with their relatives. Okay. Holder, can you pause? Your novel 
have been paused. All right, let's do this. Clasp your hands together and bring them down to your chest. Namaste. 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 All right, shift's over. Subway, do you want to mark it down this time? Sure. Everyone else, we got to get the last steak out. How was your shift, Adam? It was good. I floated in the pool a bit. Nice. Oh, grass? Oh yeah, sorry. Where's everybody going now? They gotta get the last stake out for more wood. Do they have enough people? I don't know. Last time they said it was hard enough without Macy. She still hasn't come out since a bit after Ari disappeared. It's been at least 900 shifts since then. Shift's over, contact. They need your help getting the last stake out. Oh, okay. What about Moldy? She's been pretty inert lately. She hasn't talked to anyone in a while. Ask her. Okay. Moldy, need your help getting the last steak out. I'm good. You'd be a really big help. Figures. Is that everyone? Backpack. Oh yeah. He's probably by the plug. Subway. Can you go get him? Sure. Backpack? Huh. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> Three, two, one, push! <laughs> Three, two, one, push! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Yeah. 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 yeah! Good job, guys. You guys did awesome. Oh, you were here the whole time. Of course I was. Gotta get the work done somehow. Celebratory pool party! Yeah! Yeah! Pool party time! I'm glad you're back, Backpack. Thanks, Senti. I'm sorry I haven't been as involved before. It's okay. I know it was hard to let go. Besides, you're happier this way. Hey guys, I'm back. We can start the elimination soon.
Stockton it's going to be a nice 65 today, and over in Livermore it's going to be a cool 53 degrees. So be extra sure to wear a jacket. Moving into the Bay Area, we're actually going to see some hail. Actually, the first time San Francisco has seen.
Soda bottle? Soda bottle, it's me, backpack. I finally read the notes Stone gave me, and one of them let me hear. I need your help to figure these out. I don't know what any of these mean, but you might know some of these. It's got these long strings of numbers, there's a few drawings. I've been trying to think about what they could mean on the way here. Would you happen to know at all what these mean? One of them's got a five on it, another's got a smokestack. I know there's a smokestack here in Bridgeport. Do you know anything about that? Soda Bottle, I know you're listening. I know it's been a long time since you were on the plane, but we need to figure this out. I have a feeling these could help us try and stop Aerie from continuing the show, but I won't know without your help. Look, I don't know what to tell you. I came all the way here to see you. You could at least spare me from standing in front of your door forever. Soda bottle, I... I don't have anywhere else to go. I lost my job, and the whole world thinks I'm dead. Aren't you at least the smallest bit upset about what happened? About what he did to you? I don't even know if these notes mean anything, or if finding out would even help us, but it's worth trying, right? I shouldn't have come here. I thought we were friends. Did nothing on the plane that happened matter to you? I get that you wouldn't want to think about it, but I still exist. Aries still exists. Do you really not care enough to keep this from happening to other people? We were taken to the plane on February 10th, and just last week was the first day I got out. On the way here, I did the math. I was on the plane for 224 days, soda bottle. I know you were affected by what happened, and I don't discount that at all. But trust me when I say it, I've gotten it much worse. These notes, these notes are the only chance I have to come close to making Aerie pay for what he did. I cannot live the rest of my life without knowing what or why this happened. If you were maimed and tortured by the hands of someone else, wouldn't you want to do something about it? Worst part is, he just left! Yeah! After you were eliminated, he just dipped for seven months and left us there with nothing! And for you to be totally complicit takes me off! You saw me die! You saw me drown in that pool, and you were there afterwards to comfort me! Where is that soda bottle? Do you just not care anymore? You seriously want to live your life forgetting that some sociopath sent us all to an inescapable planet with living text boxes and shape-shifting triangle people from a... different world. I'll give you time to think. Either way, you're gonna have to come out at some point. Is she still there? <laughs> what? Is she still there? Yeah. She helped us keep going after Ari disappeared, and... I'm going to get my mail. Stay here and make sure the eggs don't burn. Okay. Um...
thanks. Sorry for standing in front of your door all night, by the way. Yeah, that wasn't exactly the smoothest way you could have handled that. The only reason I let you in is because I have work in 10 minutes and I can't be trapped in my apartment the whole time. Man, you really are a mess. Remind me why you're here again? Stone had your address on one of these notes. I don't know what the rest of these mean, but I was hoping you might be able to help out. You're from San Francisco, right? Yeah. You flew all the way over here because of this? I didn't have the money for a plane ride, so I hitchhiked here. It took about a week. Well, uh, I recognize the last name Silva. There's a picture of a laptop here. Maybe he knows something about it. I'll write down his address and you can go ask him. Wait, you're not coming with? I have work. I opened the restaurant at 7 and it's not going to manage itself. Right. When you leave, be sure to lock the door and please don't lose. Mm. Hey, Kylie. What? Are you... <sighs> All right. Does he have it covered? Okay. Okay, I'll call you back. Thanks. What's going on? Health inspector shut us down for the week because someone turned the freezers off overnight. Do you still need to go to work? Soda bottle? Please don't call me that anymore. You know I have a name. Right? You never told me. Bryce. Liam. Hey, Bryce! Nice to see you here. Hey, Brad. You're doing a garage sale? Yup. Most of this stuff hasn't been touched in months. Thought to make a few quick bucks and some extra house space. Nice. This might seem like a bit of an odd question, but do you happen to know anything about a laptop by any chance? Like this one? Oh yeah, that old thing. Served me well for quite a few years, but it just started acting weird all of a sudden. Wouldn't let me type in the search engines or anything. How much are you looking to sell for? Well, I was hoping a sucker would take it for a couple twenties, but since you already know why it's out here, eh, I'll take fifteen. I'll take it. Dad? What is it, bud? What are we having for lunch? Oh, we're having carnitas. Let's see what's up with this computer. Well, that was useless. Hold on, let me keep trying some things. Just give it up already. I'm still looking through- Give it up! The notes got us nowhere. Don't say that. We could have just gotten the wrong laptop. Or looked at them in the wrong order. I didn't want to say anything when you got here, but these notes aren't going to lead us on a wild goose chase to find Aerie. Let's be realistic about this. How could these notes- What about this situation is realistic to you? Do you think one was some sort of dream? I don't think it was a dream, but it's fair to say I don't want it on my conscience right now. For once, my life- Did you just pinch yourself? My life is actually going how I want it to! I'm not gonna jeopardize my livelihood for the sake of some scraps of paper! You can do whatever you want with these, but I don't want a part of this. What about Senti? What about her? What about her? Before you let me in, you asked if Senti was still there, and I told you yes. So I guess you just don't care about her anymore? You didn't care to bring her up yourself the entire time you were standing in front of my door! So why are you here? I can list a thousand different reasons why I'm here! I've got enough on my mind already! You know these notes are real! You just don't want to throw your comfortable life away for this! You're right! I don't! Not even for the life of another person? Not until I'm convinced, without a shred of a doubt, that these notes actually mean something beyond cryptic instruction! This computer isn't enough? Me traveling across the country to your exact address isn't enough? 
What else needs to be proof for you to care about this? Feels nice to finally type again. This thing hasn't been charged in forever. Tell us everything that happened. Well, I was only gone for a few days, but by the time I came back I was already left in the garage. Normally I couldn't let myself be seen as alive otherwise he'd flip out, but now that I was alone I could research more about the competition without any suspicion. Wait a second. Are there... other living text boxes... here? Not any that I know of but I've always had a feeling that I'm not the only one. That second batch of contestants assured me I'm not completely alone in my situation. So, inanimate objects could be living here too, hiding from... I would assume so. Keep going. He never actually turned off the computer so I had until the battery died on its own. Luckily it was enough time to discover this. This website has information on all the contestants that were on the plane. I have no idea who made this or why it exists, but this could help us out. It even has info on the other batches of contestants. This is about all I was able to find before the computer died. Season 2. What? Look, right next to the badge, it says Season 2. Uh, I guess I never noticed this. One of the original contestants lives in New York City. It's only about an hour and a half drive from here. Bryce? Are you implying that we actually try and find this guy? Yeah, why not? Liam, this is New York City. Finding one guy among 8 million people is like winning the lottery. I don't think it's worth- It says here that he's homeless. If that's still true, he's almost certainly at a homeless shelter. Come on, man. There has to be at least a hundred of those shelters in New York. Even if our odds were slim, this could be vital information we're neglecting. We check every homeless shelter we can. If he's not there, we come back. That sounds reasonable to me. <sighs> Fine, let's go. Oh man. Not this one. Or this one. Or this one. Wait, is that him over there? Hey, are you Oscar? Yep, I'll pack up my stuff. Where am I going next? The one on 10th is pretty nice, close to the one pizza place. <laughs> We're not here to kick you out. We just want to ask you some things. Okay. We have a very particular issue, and we think you might have some information about it. Oh, yeah, I've got some information for you. <laughs> Not this again. Do you recognize the name Airy at all? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, Airy. Yeah, he's right over there. L listen to me! <laughs> Were you in any way involved uh... in a mysterious competition with the selection of others for a wish for anything you want? That's oddly specific. Wait a second. It was in a grassy field, everything was very geometric, and the host was an invisible voice named Aerie. Does any of Ho that- Hold on, hold on. 
What did the other contestants look like? Uh, one of them was a roll of toothpaste, another was... That's right! There was a toothpaste guy, and that host! He just sounded so incompetent, like he didn't know what he was doing. I swear, he'd be so close to killing one of us and just kept apologizing for it. You guys have had that dream too? Great minds think alike, I guess. That wasn't- Do you happen to remember anything else that happened in the dream? Well, geez, I had that dream at least a decade ago now. I, I hardly remembered it when you brought it up. I remember there was a button girl, and uh, I remember seeing a bunch of big sticks, and before I knew it, I woke up. And uh, yeah, that's about it, sorry. You realize everything you just described actually- One last question, if you don't mind. Would you happen to know what any of these mean? Liam, give me the notes. Hmm, no clue. I wish I could help out, but these mean nothing to me. By the way, why are you guys asking me all this stuff? We're doing a study on the commonality of dreams. Competition dreams seem to be an outlier in our research. Thanks for participating. It was 50 bucks. Oh, thanks, man. The heck was that about? You heard him. It happened over a decade ago. It would take way too long to convince him it was real. Even so, he hardly remembered any of it. <sighs> we didn't gain any new information from that. Where do we even go from here? These numbers mean anything. <gasps> Wait, so it's not some sort of code? It's no code. It definitely has to be about the radio. Why though? What else can you think of that has a sequence of numbers followed by a single decimal point? The only thing that I saw after I drowned was a few chairs, a table, and a guy flipping through stations on a radio! Maybe these numbers mean something with that radio! I guess so. Why is it so many numbers, though? Aren't radio stations only a few numbers long? Not all radio stations even use decimals. That's a good point. But I still have a strong feeling that's what it represents. I don't know. It's not like you can go back there and try it anyways. I mean, the only way I know how to get there is by... No. Yeah, no. So much for that trailhead. Looks like rain clouds are coming in. Can you check what the weather looks like tonight? Yeah. Orox seems to be a chilly 46. Same in Bridgeport. Expecting some hard precipitation later tonight. Should last anywhere from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. around the Bridgeport area. Wait a second. Bryce, look at this. What about it? This is our next place to go. There's an arrow at the top right here. If we go over there while it's raining, we might get a new lead. You're suggesting we climb to the top of that smokestack, in the middle of the night, in the pouring rain. Looks like that's every part of it. The moon, rain clouds, smokestack. Everything lines up. You can drive us too, right? Liam, is this some sort of adventure to you? What? You're passively telling me that you think it's in our best interest to illegally scale a power plant fuel duct because you think these notes are suggesting this is the best thing we do. Do you have any better ideas? <laughs> I don't. So why don't we- Because it's illegal, and it's dangerous, and it's just about one of the dumbest things you could possibly do. Everything these notes have suggested have been true so far, why would we stop here? I just said why. A garage sale is fine. Hopping across New York to find a homeless guy for a situation like this, it's fine. This, this right here is where I draw the line. Could you at least drive me there so I can do it myself? What? No! I'm not going to be your getaway driver! <sighs> I want to stop Aerie. I want to save Senti, but we're not doing it this way. I want to keep looking into this, but not if we have to break the law to do it. Tomorrow, we can keep looking. Today's been long enough. Um, can I- Yes, you can sleep here tonight. Tomorrow, you also find your own place to stay.
What the heck is your problem? No, this has gone too far. You are not going to do this. What do I have to lose, huh? My life was great before this all happened, and Aerie has taken everything from me. I can't sit back and miss what could be my only shot at stopping this from happening to anyone else. You're telling me your life wasn't completely ruined after what you experienced? No, Liam. My life was miserable before this competition. Now that it's over, I actually have an incentive to do something with my life. I've worked too hard now to throw it away a second time. I don't want to be a part of this, and I never wanted to. Not even for Senti. Don't talk to me about Senti. You're doing this for yourself, Liam, and you know that. You just can't move on with your life, can you? Were you there for seven months? Seven months in a barren wasteland stripped of everything that gave you a purpose in life? I'm dead to this world, Soda Bottle! Don't you get it? Liam! Liam... Don't... Don't do it. Liam! Hop over. No. I want my car keys back. Bryce! Stella. Bryce? Where am I? This is where I went after I drowned. I think the lightning struck us both dead. Oh. Come look over here! This is the radio I was talking about. Now that we're here, we can actually test if these notes work. You came to my parents' house after you died? What? No, this is what I saw. Ah, I still have the laptop. Are you here too, Texty? Oh, awesome. The lightning didn't mess up the laptop at all? 
I'm sure it's fine. Let's find those notes now. Did I leave them in the... No, wait, here they are. I really think I should go. No, no, wait, look, look at the numbers here. What happens if I turn the knob? This has to be it! Maybe we can hear stone through this if we put it to this frequency. Stone can't speak? Is that a five or a six? Okay, I think this is it. It's kind of hard to hear. What if I adjusted the antenna? That was a six? Bryce, come on. Bryce, come on. I think I have the correct one this time. Can I check it this time? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Let's try this again. Who's ready for the elimination? This is serious business, Tony. I can't have you- Are these your friends? No, sir. I don't know these guys. God. They just- Take these three gentlemen to the scooping room. Good luck, no, not Ray. the scooping room! What? Okay. Let go of me! Our what the heck is going on? The contestant is going in three, <sighs> two, I forgot the two. one. <sighs> what third time in a row. Cheer up, Trey. There's always next time. Yeah, I guess so. Poor airline food. I thought he'd make it to the end. We'll start the next challenge in an hour or so. Should someone go check on Moldy? Not it. Not, not it. it. Did Trey say not it? As much as I'd love to check in, I've done it at least a dozen more times than you have. So I think it's only fair you do it for once. Not it? Just do it. Ugh, fine. Do you want me to come with? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Don't forget to mark the next shift! I wonder how everyone else is doing. Who? The eliminated contestants. I wonder what they went back to after they've been eliminated. I hope Contact Lens two, is doing well. Two, seven. Seven. Nine. Nine. Four. Four. Three. Three. Wasn't Circle five, in a competition before five, this one? Dot, yeah. Dot maybe he's back one, to competing one. there. Okay. You're absolutely sure you didn't skip any. Yes. You don't see any numbers you could possibly mistake Once the competition for started no. up again, he was doing really good. I wonder why the voters didn't like him. Bryce, I forgot the viewers like were voting times. on us. This has to be Hi! It. Can you get me out next? I hope Folder is doing good. <sighs> I'm just glad he's not here. What's up, Pitcher Folder? We're gonna smash this thing. Yeah, let's do it. Would you like a smash my nose that you just taste your food? I'm not quite sure I understand. That was literally so cool, guys. That stands. I hope he's doing well. What about Backpack? He really wanted to leave Sorry up until a few that. hundred shifts before the he was eliminated. I wonder what he's battery. doing now. Also, yeah. What the heck is this place? I'm this sure he's doing where good. Stone is, I guess. Why do we have Let to keep checking see. on her? She's just the same as she's always been. I don't know. The least we can do is make sure she's okay. No reason she shouldn't we'll be eliminated fun. already. Stone! He wouldn't have been so panicked to make the notes if he knew it wasn't the last time we saw him. Sup, Moldster? How you so been, why uh... why you here? The better question is, how are we getting out of here? Uh, Subway? Uh, what? Wait, guys. I just found something. 
swear. What's up? On the website, each of the players has a kill command connected I mean, to them. I mean, she was basically code. catatonic up until if she was I eliminated. Out your name Who's to say it was? I think we could all be sent back to the puppy room. Sensei. Yeah, where the Moldy's radio dead. is. What? Are you somehow referring to the neighborhood? Moldy said, "Come in? look." Let's just go back. When's the last time someone saw yeah, her alive? I checked on idea. her like two shifts Entering ago. She was fine. Three, you guys two, are absolutely one. sure? I've only seen dead humans. I assume the same rules apply here. Whoops. Going back in three, two, one. Is this some kind of joke? What? No! She, she's sitting right she's over there. She's not there. She was right there, I swear. Where the heck did she go? You guys tell me that. Maybe Aerie took her somewhere. Hey, Aerie! Yeah? Where the heck is Moldy? Oh. Uh... I don't know. Uh... Why is she... Okay, uh... Let me respawn her back to where you guys are. I guess whatever happened, it sent you back to how you were at the beginning of the competition. Weird. Oh wow, it actually worked. Liam? We did all that for nothing. What? No we didn't. We were killed 20 times over and didn't find anything about stone. What are you talking about? We... We still have these! You're suggesting we still don't have the information to figure this out? We still have three more notes we haven't solved. What? I'm not in the suburbs anymore. Let's figure these out. We should probably see what this place is before we go to Aerie. What does SF even stand for? 10% battery warning. Oh man. Could it be... San Francisco. We could... go back to Earth? If this really means San Francisco, can we please get me a charger before anything crazy happens? Let's do it. Double check it. Looks good. This... better work. <sighs> We're back on Earth. I'm starting to think we would never get back here again. Do you have a house or something we could... Oh, right. Let's get the charger. Yeah, let's yeah, okay. do that. That'll be twelve ninety nine. Liam? Owen? You're alive? Everyone thought you were gone. What the heck happened? I... I got a job abroad. I'm managing telemarketing stuff over in Australia, and now that I have a break, I thought about coming back here. That's awesome, dude. Why didn't anyone of the company say anything about it? Or the police? Oh, uh, what did the police have to do with this? Everyone thought you were dead. The police were investigating for a long time and just came to the conclusion that you died. <laughs> really? My flights and purchases are still on record. I'm surprised they didn't look into that. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Still weird they assumed you died. We should hang out again. I want to hear about your trip. Oh yeah, sounds good. Uh, I'm kind of booked with some other stuff right now, but I'd love to hang out again soon. You're Why are you guys still in the competition? Break? Yeah, whatever. That's an odd question. I got a new number a while I mean, back. I wish I wasn't, but I can't really decide that. Call me whenever but what you want to get could? coffee or something. Would you stay? I'll be around. Oh, what would you wish for? You haven't wanted to talk to any one of us Mr. in months. Worldwide. Why do you want to ask us now? See ya, Owen. I'm just curious. I'm thinking about some stuff. Well, I still want to leave. I miss being back at you school. You two know each other? And I don't yeah, think any he was my old co-worker. I've known him for months since college. If I won, I think I'd ask for a better heat. wondering what it's like to have a life again. It gets pretty cold yeah. at night. It's pretty nice. If I get the prize, as much as I'm I want to figure this thing out, I can't wait to get back to mine. Remind that we're back on Earth. You're not going to flake out last minute, are you? Part of me still wants to. What about you, Sophie? The rest of me wants to finally leave Oh, this thing I don't know. Um, uh... Thanks. I, I don't know. For what? What do you for think? For convincing me to stick this through. As soon as I got here, I, I was certain that I, I was going to do whatever it takes to win everyone else and use my wish to get enough money to pay for my ever loving crap out of me. Now I'm not It was the right sure. thing to do. 
No matter what I can't we trust find myself past to that use area, the money responsibly. I'm ready for it. Now that I know Thanks, exactly Bryce. how horrible this mold can be, I couldn't have done this without you. Here you are. I can't just get ever coming back. Even so, there's a small a part of me now that thinks this to competition one announced and all of its contestants. What do you mean? We're coming to save you. I don't you. even know if there is a prize. The only thing keeping me in this game is the promise that this hunk of mold could leave my body. But the longer I stay here, we should probably go the bigger back it's gonna get. So people don't see you guys were so adamant on leaving, Good point. and nothing we was going to stop you from getting home and changing your life for the better. Do you have any ideas? What happened? I have an idea of where we can go. <laughs> um, what are you The best place about? you can think of is a You know back exactly alley? what I'm talking this about. This is the place where I you, first looked at the You, backpack and soda bottle, were out to leave no matter what it took. night, and no one was there. That doesn't sound appealing to you anymore? I, um, uh... Your house? Your friends? That was the only time you family? Did you had a name, didn't you? <laughs> we've been here for months together, and we've never told each other our names. I think that'll work. Your name was Amelia, right? Are you ready, Texty? Ready whenever you are. I... I need a minute. Hey guys, sorry it's been longer than an hour. I was thinking, to make things a bit more interesting, we're gonna have a rejoiner. Okay. You guys ready? Rejoiner rejoining in three. All right. Two. Sending us back in three. Two. Bryce! One. Soda bottle! Texty, where's Bryce? I have no idea. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Liam, what's going on? We're ending this. can do this. Are you trying to get home? Hey, are you trying to get back to Earth? This stands for San Francisco. Do you know where San Francisco is? San Fran. This number will take you back to Earth. Do you have the number? Okay, all you need to do now is pull the antenna up and you'll be back home. Yeah, just like that. C'est... Fini? Now lift it up.
Alrighty. Do you realize how much suffering you caused me? Do you realize the torture you put so many innocent people through? You apathetic, deranged psychopath. End this now. There's six more eliminations left. Are you brain dead? Send everyone back right now. Uh, I can't do that right now. Why not? There's six more eliminations left. Backpack, wait. My name is not Backpack! That computer controls everything I do. If you destroy it, I can't take the contestants back. Really? Let me just do it myself then. I don't blame you. It took me a while to get it figured out. Why do you do this? Because I like to. Yeah. You like killing people for your own enjoyment? You like stabbing babies with giant wooden poles, Airy? I thought it would be fun. Well, I'm glad you had fun, Airy. Did your viewers have fun too? What's up with those viewers anyways? There aren't viewers. You made it up. Yeah. So you were the one eliminating us the whole time. Yeah. Hey! Where do you think you're going? I forgot I need to go get something. Oh, nuh-uh. I told you to send everyone home right now. Uh, no. and I and lose the only person who knows how to take them back. That's such a stupid... Ugh. I'm going up to get reads. I'll go follow him. Wait. What? Ask if there is water there. Is there water there? Uh, yeah. No thanks. Leave me here. Tell me what happens afterwards. Okay. You're coming with me? I have more questions. Okay. What is this place? Uh, I don't know. Are there other people here? No, it's just me. How did you make the plane? What? There's a bunch of different planets in the cave and one of them is the plane. What did you do to make it? Uh, this place lets me make planets, I guess. It kind of took a while to make them, but yeah. Watch your step. So what are you up here for? You gonna take me out with something behind those reeds? What? No, I'm just collecting reeds. For what? Betty. Ugh, stupid parts are too sharp. What's that? This? Is that the cassette player? Uh, yeah. Do you have all the pieces? Why do you care? Can I have those? Why would I give you these? Because I want it. I'll give you the pieces if you send everyone back tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Harry, are you listening to me? Tonight. Yeah, no. No, not tonight. Uh. Then you're not getting these pieces. T tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Yes, I'll do it tomorrow. Let's go back. Whoa, whoa! whoa!
you're the only one here? Yeah, this place isn't really that big. Are you from Earth? Uh, yeah. So how did you get here? Well, after I died, I spent a really long time flipping through the radio until I eventually made it here. This place is pretty nice, so I wouldn't risk going back to try to find another. How long have you been here for? I'd guess at least a decade. Alone? Yeah. What did you do all that time? Well, the past few years have all been preparation for one. Most of the time beforehand was spent building things and listening to my cassette player. Hopefully, with the pieces back together, I can listen to it again. What about the first competition? The... After I found out I could plug the computer into one of the planets, I found a way to bring people from different places onto the planet. Once they were on the planet, they all got pretty scared. So the best thing I could think of is to say it was a show. They would do challenges, get eliminated, and one would win. It sounded fun, but I didn't get very far. After Calculatory was the first one eliminated, I told them the next challenge was to throw your rock as far as you can. When I dropped the first one, it crushed the whole planet and the contestants were killed too. At the time, I didn't know how to respawn any of them, so it just ended the competition there. I spent the next years making sure the next competition would be better. Now, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm gonna go inside. Oh, okay. By the way, I made you a bed. If you want to go to sleep, you can use that. Thanks.
Hey, I'm gonna go get some wood, just thoughtfully, you know. people on the computer why is Owen on your computer the nail why is he there well after this season ends everyone will be sent back you guys are really good contestants so I thought picking people who knew you guys would be good too Mm-hmm. 